Hello, everyone, and welcome in today. We're Danny Hamasaki, the purple player with no avatar. We're incognito once again, hiding our identity and hosting a lobby. We are playing the biggest real world map. It's like classic advanced. It's like classic map, but advanced. There's a bajillion territories. You've seen this map if you're uh, regular on the channel. We're playing Earth 2209 AD, and we're playing Capital Conquest. We have stable portals on. And progressive cards. I will pull the settings up in a second. I do need a capital spot. So I can go on my 2 in Madagascar. I don't actually hate the 2 in Niger. The 2 in Italy I don't like. Because it actually doesn't connect to Algeria. This does not connect. So it's kind of trapped if I go in there. I also don't have a capital on a portal. Which I would love. Actually, because of this blizzard and this blizzard, this is a very appealing continent. South America. So what if I went here and then tried to take North Africa into South America? I think yellow is going to be over here, though. Yellow might go on this three. I don't have access to a portal out here. Really would like to have access to a portal. Green's in here. Maybe I do go on here, and then I can kind of go left or right. I'm just going to go here. Screw it. We're doing it. <clears throat> What's up, llamas? 1v1v? Not not yet. Maybe after. What's up, Fred? What's up, Matt Stanky? What's up, Daily Panty Sniffer? 62.4k on the wheel. I'll spin the wheel. We'll do the wheel after this game. Yeah, I, I didn't really have great options for caps, right? Like, I didn't hate... Amazonas, because it's kind of protecting this bonus. It's not great. Oh, yellow. Why are you in there? It's up here. Although, if white and pink don't go over here, which it would also be bad to make a four cap beside my five, because I'm going to get six troops to Lebanon for you if you go there. I don't recommend it. I actually think if I'm yellow, I'd probably cap on Queensland. Because Queensland is, uh... It's on a portal. Gives them a five. Oh, sorry. That's yellow. Doi? Why didn't yellow cap here? What are you doing, bro? Where does white cap? White wants to make a smart cap choice. That's on a portal. I don't blame him, I guess. <laughs> I'd be sniping you followed your channel. What's up, man? Welcome in. You think you would have gone interior in Europe? There. It's tricky, too, because I also picked twice, so I couldn't see where people were. I can go southern uh, Africa into northern Africa. I can also go for um, Australia. Whatever is easier to take for me. I think this one's easier. Well, this one actually looks easier. And if I take Australia or Oceania, whatever, I have a portal... I can stack cap and portal. Um, yeah, my three is not going to live for long. Oh, it is if he doesn't click in the right spot. There you go. Okay, so green, a little bit of a person I probably don't overly have to worry about. Uh, what do we got for caps? A five. Who's weak? A six. A five. Nothing really to <clears throat> take advantage of. I'm assuming white isn't going to come in here. Take a few territories. Oh, uh, one second. I don't have a good fortify anywhere. So I'm going to make this a 7 and leave a 2. I'm I'm a 6. I just don't want to leave a 6 in case this guy goes buck wild or something. I don't think he does, but don't overly want to take my chances. What the hell? 1v1 me. Why does everybody want to 1v1 me? <laughs> What's up, King John? How are you doing, bro? How are you doing? Yeah, Australia does look decent with the Blizzard in South America. So, like, kind of, I think Madagascar was my best cap. 
based on like, I can go left or right. And if I go right, I have access to a portal. Um, if nobody goes anywhere in left, I'm kind of not contended in here as well. And if I'm here and here, I kind of have a good guard on this. And then this, this is good as well. It's tricky. I don't really want to cap up here somewhere, trapped in amidst a bunch of small bonuses. I kind of want, I want a big bonus into a big bonus. Ideally, I have a couple big bonuses early. And I also very much want a portal to put a big stack on so when people do stupid things later, I can take advantage of that. <laughs> 2v1 me. There we go. That's a request I haven't had. You think White's going to contest Australia? It's possible. I hope not. I would love for them to go up here somewhere. Do something here. In uh, Western Asia. This is kind of free right now. Eight. Eight troops. Jason Hopeson. Yeah, I guess I could go over the players. General Durham from wherever that is. This guy from wherever that is. I'm real good at this. This guy from Canada. <laughs> United States. And we got uh, Great Britain. Is this the new EU Advanced? No, it's Earth 2209. This is uh, it's like classic, but a big version. A lot of people do love this map. Okay, of course I'm getting contested over Australia, because why wouldn't I? Very annoying. If he wasn't on the portal also, I could come through the portal into here. Hmm. I do not like you, white player. And do not like you at all. Well, dropping stuff I'm fidgeting with onto the floor. <clears throat> hey, Pete Raid. What's up, everybody? What's up, Pete? You guys didn't get enough capitals. We've got more capitals for you. So, I heard you wanted more capitals. I do not like you in a house. I do not like you with a mouse. I do not like you with my spouse. I do not like what's on her blouse. Oh, that was good. That was good. I should write poetry. Bro, welcome in, everybody. Uh, we're playing some Risk Capitals. Right? Come on. That was that was some... That's like uh, Dr. Seuss. Anyways, I'm Danny Hamasaki, purple player. Uh, Capital Conquest, progressive cards on Earth 2209. I had bad cap options, so I capped in Madagascar, and I went for Australia, and White said, I want Australia. So, of course, I have to do something different instead, because that makes it... That would be way too fun if I could just, like... What's he going to get? Six, make this a 12, come in, hit a nine? He's not going to do that. Ugh. Yeah, let's take a couple territories. Ew. Bring my two back. I have a nine capital. Is it the same thing on Monica Lewinsky's blouse? Well, well. <laughs> What's up, Stacy? What's up, Pudgy? What's up, Toy Man Sam? I could have swore I saw Pete for three seconds. I think you hopped into his stream right as he raided. Does Pete have red hair? He'll die it eventually. I'll, I'll win him over. Better genetics. Ooh. I love how Kilted has always scared people with his cap. <clears throat> Bro, all it takes is one really poor player to ruin your game. So I play a little extra cautious at the start. It doesn't, it, it slows me down a little bit in the opening, but at the trade-off of not just getting dumpster trucked by a noob. Ideally. And he split wrong, which is good. <laughs> Do I actually get to hold this? I don't know. Have you told peeps about Friday, or is it a secret? I haven't told anybody. I'm hoping nobody's going to stream it, and then we can just release it. It'll be kind of like a surprise video. Ideally. Like, it's not the end of the world if it's not, like, a super surprise, but... 
Oh, so weak. Four cap. What's happening on Friday, Kilted? Oh, no. The secret's out. Monica Lewinsky walks into a dry cleaner, asks the owner if they can get the stain out. The owner, not understanding, asks, come again? To which she replies, no mustard? No. What? No mustard. Oh, no, it's, okay, no, comma, mustard. Use a comma, bro! Punctuation. Oh, God, he's gonna get a bonus, too. How screwed am I? I'm actually in a lot of trouble early game. There's nothing secret happening on Friday. Sliding in the DMs. We will pretend to be surprised. Thank you. Grammar is hard. It's just like no mustard. I'm like, wait, it's not mustard? <laughs> Definitely a girlfriend stream. Oh, uh, bringing the girlfriend on on Friday? Don't proofread my shit I sent you. My grammar is trash. Well, if I'm streaming and I read something quickly, if the grammar is a little off, it's very easy for me to interpret it and be like, wait, what? Because I'm trying to, like, absorb it fast. Like, what you sent me is, like, very detailed, intense tournament ideas, which I have to actually read and understand, and it'll be different. I'm getting clapped. Uh, this is bad. What is that thing Trainwreck says? Uh, bad news, Billy Bears. Or, uh, juice me, bitch. Bonus, bonus, bonus. Give me the juice. Okay, so he's gonna get, sorry, five for Oceana. And then he's gonna lose this one. So he's gonna get six and five. He's gonna get 11. So I don't think he hits a 10 cap. I need to make sure I kill the white one. Can we hold? I don't know. This is not looking good already. This is a stack on cap and prey situation. Well, yellow's probably not gonna break me. Um, I don't know if red does. I don't think green does. I didn't break red, but red could just as easily not care about that. She can sit on your lap while you play Risk. I don't, it's like, she's not opposed to hopping on a stream once in the future. It'd just have to be, uh, like a Jackbox party night where we have some wine or something and play some Jackbox with everybody. Some kind of, like, planned event. This Friday, by popular demand, Kilted will finally play Odd Job. Fuck. Yeah, finally, for my first time ever, I would play Odd Job. I give you the fist bump. We can be friends. Please don't break me. Take a card here on the white one, or in here. Leave me alone. If he doesn't break me, I, I don't think white does. And I don't think pink does. Green might. Well, white could through the portals pretty easy. Eh, let's do a Jackbox night? I would love to do a Jackbox night. I have uh, the Nintendo Switch. There is a way. I, I have the thing installed in my computer so I can actually stream my Nintendo Switch games. And I own three of the Jackbox games on my Switch. For uh, when we've done game nights at my place, so... I could definitely do a uh, Jackbox uh, stream one of these evenings. This isn't Europe Advance. No, it's not. Yeah, red with a four on his cap is beginner behavior. He didn't break me. Do you play Mario Kart? I have. Uh, the most... Uh, uh, Super Smash Bros. is what I've played the most on the Switch. And uh, next to that would be probably Super Mario Maker 2. Where people make Mario levels and stuff like that. He's going for this bonus? Oh, super greedy boy. 
Like, why blame him, though? He's getting big. Yellow's also got a four in his cap. But he's in a... Eh. I'm not going to break him, so is anybody else really? I don't think so. Red already didn't. Pink's bonus being cut off here is not good for him. I got a Steam gift card, so I'm trying to figure out which expansion pack I get next. Yeah, what do I have? I have three, four, and something else. Or maybe even just three and four. I might only have two of them. I want the I want whatever the newest one is that has the newest Quiplash. Because that's my favorite game. I don't think it's too late for a prediction. <laughs> and my daily request for mod powers. Oh, okay, so I get my bonus. <laughs> I have a bonus and a portal. Oh, wowzers. Putting some more troops on my capital, because I trust absolutely nobody in this game. Okay, we're chilling. I got to hold my bonus. I'm up to 33 troops. Yay! I'm in last place, pretty much. <laughs> Once Pink's turn hits, I'm, I'm last place. But whatever, we can come back from that. Jack's Box 9 is fun. The Wheel of Enormous Proportions. I don't know what that is. If there's new Jackbox games in the last couple expansions, I don't know what they are. So you'll have to show me. Well, if if I see you again, or when, you're going to have to bring it. Got to shoot my shot, you know? Definitely. I've been pretty good. Uh, Gandu and Llamas are really good at managing... Uh, the chat if anything comes in and usually chat's fine i don't really need moderation god that was scary i thought he was gonna roll it seven 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 i don't want you coming into my bonus i want this i want to own this but i definitely can't do it yet We're also second trade. I mean, I could technically skip. Skipping in a rank game? Uh... Red's also going for a second bonus. So green has two bonuses, which they're basically one bonus because they're fours. It's still a pretty decent position. Uh, white's going for the biggest bonus on the map. He's going to come through here, though, and I don't think red's going to like him coming through here. Oh, Buck Wild time? No. Maybe? He's going for the cap? Oh, baby, action has happened in. Let's go. Dude, Red's going to cash in. And he's going to use a seven stack to go back up. And he's going to hit it back. That's absolutely great for me. Let's do more of that. Just be careful not to shoot your shot in her eye. Damn. It burns! Bring the MacBook whenever it's happening? Hell yeah. I'll bring the lady. I just want to do predictions. Ah, uh, fair. I don't want people to lose all their points on predictions when we do the spinner wheel, though. Okay, pink's expanding in here and leaving troops to stop white. Okay. Green's guarding heavily over here because of Pink's cap, so his troops are kind of tied. I like it. Red's about to go buck wild on this. I'm probably getting to hold my bonus again. Early trading. Honestly, these guys, I don't even have to skip. I think most of these guys are going to trade this turn. 
if I'm being honest. Where's he coming out? Okay, he's coming into here. There is a war a Bruin. Card block on yellow is so easy, the lemons don't even have to be squeezed. I'm not going for a card block at all right now. I'm going to let these guys do their thing. I'm going to keep my cap strong, let the trades go up, and let red retaliate on white. Let green and pink have this little standoff here. Uh, pink and white kind of a standoff here. If red wants this bonus, green seems keen on not letting it happen, and white and pink are probably going to stop it. There's lots of things that are going good for me to just wait. I'm going to knock white under 18 also. Three, two, one, bang! Okay, 20 cap is good. I don't have a plus two anywhere, which is fine. Is there a way to make bets based on who we think will win the current game you're playing using channel points to bet on? Yeah, there is. I'd have to set it up, or I'd have to get a mod to set it up, and then John's like, what about me, bro? Why do you guys have ideas on who you think is going to win this game? Yellow, get out of my second bonus. Although if I take that second bonus, yellow is card blocked and he's only able to come through me. So knocking him out of there is not good. I should trade cards with him here while everybody else fights. I'll deal with him later. You need me. I never saw this coming in a million years. Never. That's so good for me. I'm back in the game. And red did early trade. He should hit this white one and this one. He needs to knock both these white ones out if he's uh, not wanting him to come in easily. Okay. So weak. And these guys... Did he just... Yeah, he did. He blitzed the two on one. Okay. And then he brings the five to the capital. Like, ideally, you want more than a six cap. You've learned your lesson. A nine cap, okay. You need me deep. If you need someone to design the prediction... I don't know what that even is. A prediction page. You just set up the channel points and it, like, it populates. Kind of like when I do the picker wheel. It would be the same. Oh, you mean like try to card block or slowly push yellow to come up in here? Yeah. I could try to do that to, to get this bonus. I still kind of like the idea of yellow having a pathway out to stuff without going through me. If I take this, then anything he does, not, it, not only does it affect me, but it also in his mind triggers a, I have an enemy in purple now because I've hit purple. And if he can get out and do stuff without actually making an enemy in his own mind too... That can help me. Like, it's not even just he hits me and then I'm mad at him and we're at war. He can assume I'm mad at him and the war could be on just from his perspective. Even just from him hitting me. That makes sense. Uh, Green is currently dominating. Nobody else early traded, so I do get the third trade. Which is whatever. I am going to keep my cap strong. <clears throat> I'm in the floor. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Merry Christmas, bro. That's an old school movie as well. Home Alone. Get my bonus. I I've been getting to hold it, and I am so pleased about that. That is for sure. So mathematically, I'm going to tell everybody the secret. Once you trade these three soldiers in... They get shuffled in and you have a chance to get a soldier back. So if you want to trade like this, you need a soldier to get a card, but there's less soldiers in the deck. You have less chance. So statistically more probable to get a trade on three by trading it this way. Because math. There you go. One of those gamer secrets nobody talks about. Because probably not very many people use that, but uh, that makes a difference.
or it can make the difference. Also, I just, I'm really good at getting dudes. So, I mean, I'm probably already locking one in. Never mind, but would have been cool if I spoke it into power. Spoke it into what reality? I'm back. How come it's still popping right now? Are you about to win the world championship? No, not today. That movie gets watched every December. VCR gets dusted off in the CRT. <laughs> uh, oh, come on, bro. Okay, that's fine. Four on two blitz and fortify. He's just super guarding, right? Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> You'll also notice I'm not guarding on the one. So, it, like, if I have a 20 stack to his 26 and he rolls it, it cripples me. If he breaks me right now, it doesn't hurt me at all unless he comes and hits the 18 also. So, like, I'd rather him break on a one and have a higher chance of him breaking than him roll a 20. Especially if I have a 20 there, he feels like I might actually roll him. So he might hit me first. The whole two stacks side by side is like, it's kind of like a Mexican standoff. Somebody's going to pull the trigger. And when either of you pull the trigger, you both lose. So if I can avoid putting my stack beside someone's big stack, I will do that. I mean, you're obviously not getting this bonus. My capital is in it. This is the milkshake that brings all the boys to the yard. Which color? I am purple. I'm not in the greatest position, but I'm also not in the worst one anymore, so. Actually, after these guys trade, maybe I am in the worst? No, red's in worse position than me. I do that and never thought to talk about it. I don't know why. Oh, you do it, Phil, too? Yeah. Nobody's ever mentioned it, but it's it's just some small thing. All the small things that uh, the top players do, do add up. Uh, why not in that center province so you can also reach red border? Uh, you mean like stacking on like Algeria? Or Libya, you mean? Like, sorry. Because I, I, so I also don't want to be threatening to red. And the the bigger reason, I guess I'd say, is the portal. Um, if a couple of these guys later... Oh, Niger? I don't want to say the province's name. <clears throat> So that is a better guard, protecting all the entryways. What I have found in progressive uh, cards, capitals, or even progressive in general is a lot of people make mistakes over attack, you know, feeding kills, or, or just doing things incorrectly and setting you up to take advantage of that. So I want to have a lot of troops available on a capital, or on, oh, sorry, on a portal. Because now this is a strike... It, if I get a big trade for 40 and I put 40 troops on this and somebody's weak somewhere and I can jump in and kill them and take their cards, having it here is more aggressive. I generally have aggressive positioning if I can. Oh, he's leaving my thing trapped, is he? You sly dog. I'm gonna go for a 35 cap. I am over protecting my cap right now. Because the only thing that matters to, that's pretty beautiful. The only thing that matters to me right now is surviving. As long as I don't die early, I probably will see and find openings later in the game that I'll be able to capitalize on. And that's generally why a lot of the top players right now are playing capitals in uh in ranked. So they can capitalize on people's mistakes etc because it's really hard to like if a if a newer player suicide rams you when uh when you don't have a capital and they kill 15 year troops at the start of the game your game's over but it's a lot harder for them to suicide ram you if you have a big stack on a capital because capitals defend very well so essentially all that does is it gets me into the later stages of the game where uh gives me more opportunities for uh chances to to capitalize on stuff. It's a real country, yeah. Should have taken Afghanistan? Where's that? It's up here somewhere, right?
Like, I have lots of options. Like, if I wanted to take a bunch of stuff and... But I don't want to appear threatening. <clears throat> There's a giant psychological aspect to this game right now. There is a giant distrust between red and white. Pink's preventing white from a second bonus. At any point, white might get frustrated at that, so there's going to be some tension there. Green's also been taking cards in here when red wants to take this as a second bonus. There's a little tension there. There's giant stacks built up here between pink and green, so there's a little tension there. There's a lot of tension all over the map, and I'm doing the best I can to be have no tension, no tension with anybody else. <laughs> and when one of these comes to a boiling point and something happens, I'm in a good spot to capitalize. Portals make this board so much harder to protect your bonuses. They really do. Look at this guy. Okay, very defensive play by Pink. And he's very fast at putting troops down. What is this? One, 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 one. Look at this. Very quick. So we're getting into the bigger trades. 20. 20, 25, 30, 35. Um, so here's, here's a, something to concern myself with, right? I have a 35 cap and I don't really have to worry about anybody except for yellow, but I definitely have to worry about yellow trading with his bonus, putting everything here and hitting my cap and trying to take this as a second bonus. So do I trade early to prevent that? Or do I take a card here and move a bunch of this into my cap? I think that's what I do. I think I'm going to take a card here and move a bunch into my cap. Guard it with like a 60 or something. I'm not taking a chance with yellow going like buck wild crazy on me. Not a big fan of that idea. Because I don't want to use my wild. And I, I think I can get away without using the wild right now. By just hyper guarding my capital. Now I have a trade and I keep the wild. Very beneficial. And if he trades for 20, he's 58 plus his 12. He could have a 70. He could roll a 69 on 60. Now it doesn't look good at all for him to trade early and hit my cap. If it was weaker, it might look good to him. He does early trade. Gives me a bigger trade when I trade. Like at some point I am going to lose my bonus. It could be this turn. But when that happens I still have to stay reserved. And fortify back. And then I don't open your 55 this way. You'd have to go around. Okay. I'm cool with that. That's a that's a move I like. Now he's not threatening to me on my capital because he doesn't have cards. Although he's about to get a third card, so I have to watch out for that also. How are you letting El Chapo take parts of your motherland? <laughs> Which one's El Chapo? Yellow be pushing. He is pushing. He just he can't take this bonus because my cap's in it. And I have to make sure he knows he can't take it. Because if he's a newer player and he does that, oh, my game's going to be sunk. Because people have quite the access to me if I do get suicided into. Red really wants his second bonus, I think. Didn't take it. He still only has a 7 on his cap. That is so vulnerable. White white comes through this 1, 7. He takes his cap right now. Yeah. Oh. Is he going to try to kill him? He's killing him. Oh, I'm so okay with that. That makes my trade way bigger. 
Because what's the trade? He gets 30, but he loses way more than 30 on that whole exchange. Wait, he fails the kill. Oh, that's really bad. Purple gets it for free. Or pink. He needs god dice or he's done. Yeah, okay. You need two perfect slow rolls and a good blitz. No, nah, you, you... That's so dumb. Oh, he's got a portal. Through the 13. Do it. All the way. Ah! A real man goes 1-1 one, one through the 13 and finishes that. And he would have slow rolled this. Oh. This is bad. He's going to double trade once he kills red. He's like, wait, where's the other one? No, not through my bonus. Come down here. You, oh, you idiot. Oh, why is everybody so stupid? 14, one, 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 one. No, let's hit the eight stack with a 10 stack or whatever. And then, oh my God. It's free. You you went to fortify. How do you fail a kill where he has seven troops left? He's just sitting there with seven troops. You have eighty-five troops, and you can't find a way. You had a hundred plus, and you can't find a way to kill seven troops on this board with portals. This is very bad. I'm glad I have a lot on my cap. Green is so slow. I'm glad he's the one getting the kill, though, because he's so slow. <clears throat> I'm sorry, short lizard, but oh my god. <laughs> See, this is why you stay on cap, to make use of these mistakes. Yep. Like, three people had a kill there. Essential. Well, uh, red's or white's kill was very tight and not worth it. Because now look at how weak he is. Because he failed it. Even if he succeeded, it wouldn't have been great for him. Where are you going? Get out of my bonus! You're going to go up and take this cap? I'm happy if you hit it. Do it. You look very threatening if you hit that. You're going to go break pink? Okay. I like it. Make some enemies when Pink has his 39 beside your 33 and a trade coming. So I have a trade into a trade. I, I, like, I'll have a trade on three. <clears throat> okay, I have a very strategic decision here. I, there's lots I could do. Super lots. I can put everything on my capital and do nothing. I could kill white. It's not worth it. I could break white's Australia. It's not worth it. I, I could take this after somebody kills him or something. I think yellow's going to come through. Hmm. Here we go. out of my hands there's a six cap in Europe I want nothing to do with it <clears throat> pink's about to trade for 45 troops I'm gonna let pink be angry at the man who hit him and not be angry at me for taking his six cap I uh go get him boys I even moved my five out of the way in case yellow goes buck wild and he wants the cap go have at her Feed me kills. Green is incredibly strong and very slow. So if he messes something up, I can take advantage of it. He's also, now I'm not going to get this bonus, but are you... Like... You're killable. I could literally kill you. Because you have nothing on capital. I mean, not for three cards for a 45 trade or whatever, but, I mean... 
White takes this bonus and chills. And nobody has hit him. Okay. I think it's if, if White gets hit considerably here, he might be worth killing. What are you doing, Pink? You're coming in here. I have a feeling Pink's coming in here. Or is he going to try to kill White? Oh, yes. Yep. See, Green pissed him off. Good man. Keep going. Break the other one. Hit everybody. And now there's a reasonable chance that Green fucks up a kill on somebody. With his 200 plus troops. And if he does, I'm taking it. Because I've got access to everything from here. There's a portal here. There's a portal here if I need it. There's just... There's no way to prevent me getting a kill if Green screws something up here. I could get a kill with this and then trade without even using my wild card, which would be ideal. <laughs> Although, if green doesn't swing very hard at anybody... Technically, pink's the easier kill because of this white 31 on a cap. I don't want to hit a 31 cap for a kill, so I'm not going to. <laughs> Do I trade on three? Take a... F trade on three, go to one. They all take a fourth card and then kill whoever's left over. And if I don't trade right now, I have 110 cap. Yellow could trade on three and do something really stupid, though. I'm playing... Ca I'm, I'm gonna play cautious. Overly cautious. Because there's a very high chance I would have had to trade this turn anyways. And the odds of me getting a trade and getting to keep my wild were very low. And then there's a very slight chance somebody ruins my game by being stupid. Cap run? I'd have to go through this 68 to get to the 1. Or through this 42 or an 11. Like this cap's free, this cap's free, this cap's free. This one's not as free. And neither is this one. It's... I mean, if, they don't, if they're unguarded, it's not something that is uh, out of the realm of possibilities, but... Uh... Yeah, Arco, welcome. You uh, you missed Pete's idea of your, your settings. <laughs> it was pretty fun to watch. You will enjoy it. Sorry if I missed some messages. Okay, pink trades. White has four cards and 58 troops. I don't think anybody's going to kill white. I think I'm going to kill white. I just need to not get a bad roll on his 39. Wait, pink's a bot. Ooh, he got a little bit sad and he quit. Interesting. He had a big trade on three and he traded and quit. Or quit even with the trade. <clears throat> Give me my sword. Everybody wants that mod. If green hits a bunch of pink, that's really good for me. Yeah, green probably doesn't even know he's a bot. He seems like such a newer player. So I kill white and trade. Possibly abandon this cap? Sorry, White, but uh, you're a juicy, juicy bit of meat right now. Not a great roll.
I get a trade? <clears throat> I think... I think I stay here and just hold this portal. Hundred and forty six stack on a portal on a cap. No trade on three. But I am kind of in a really good spot. Let's see what people do with that. White's now gone, red's now gone, pink is a bot. It lasted five hours, heck yeah. Okay, yellow's now going for pink. Cool. That's actually not good for him at all, which is great for me. No, my bonus! Is he splitting? Is he actually going to try to... You can't get the kill because you've already screwed up and can't get through this blizzard to get the 21 and the 2. Have you realized that yet or not yet? You, you haven't seen that yet. Oops. Oopsies. He didn't realize that. Is this cap open, or is he going to protect it? Ooh! Wide open cap. Does green see it? It's only me or green that's going to take advantage of that. So I need to be in a position also to kill pink. For two cards for 51, it's kind of worth... Except I don't have an easy way into these ones, unless green hits all this. Because I could easily portal slap this, portal slap all this. But I can't get in here without... Getting, uh... I don't have enough troops to go off this one, I don't think. 8, 9, 10, I'd have 10. 9... I'd need perfect dice. He's going for the cap? Oh, he goes for yellow's cap. That's so good. Take the cap. He doesn't even take the cap. He just breaks the bonus. So I get 12. Ideally, I could kill pink right now. <clears throat> Wait, I can't get to this three without... Because this doesn't come through. These don't connect. And I still have this capital? I now own Australia. I'm the proud owner of Australia. Uh, I have a set on four. Okay. They're all going to be on three cards. If pink does not die, I am killing him for three cards no matter what. I'm assuming somebody's going to kill him. We'll go into a three-player end game. And now he's also mad at green. Green's cap is a one. Speaking of which, cap, 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 cap. 150. Very close to being able to cap run that last turn. I could cap run this turn if they don't guard caps. Yellow didn't guard a cap. Green has 80... Green has 70, 80 troops on a capital that he might come off with? Oh, do I just want to cap run or do I want to kill everybody? I kind of want to kill everybody. Is that greedy? This is the freest cap run of my life. Am I wrong? Or can I, like...
One, two, three. You can all have fourth place. Get out of my lobby. Uh, I kind of wanted to kill everybody, but like, I don't know. Why not? I don't usually do a cap run. I usually go for for the kill. <laughs> it's just, a, I mean, okay. Now beginner, beginner, novice, expert, and beginner. Apologies, I, I would have liked to kill more people. I just, I don't know. I don't usually do the cap runs, so I thought I'd go for it. Uh, <laughs> If you joined me this far in the video, thank you for hanging out. I uh, hope you had a good holidays, uh, and I uh, hope you got some big plans for January, New Year's resolution. Eh, nah, nobody cares about that shit. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, and that's it. Take care.